Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I created this mustardy summery makeup look. Um, I hope you guys like this look. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. Um, I'm first going to do my foundation because you guys know first I already did my eyebrows off of camera you guys know how I do my eyebrows and um, for foundation I'm gonna go into cover effects this is the shade M50 I'm gonna shake it and then just put it on so remember that candle holder that I bought I have it there now I'm gonna use it I don't know it was like a, it was not a smart buy I'm not gonna lie about it so I'm gonna go into the foundation and I'm gonna give myself a little tanner look. It's a, it's a shade darker than mine. So you gotta make sure you're blending your foundation very good. Everything. So. Right. so moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the same two concealers that I've been using and it's the Morphe Fluidity Concealer and the NYX Can Stop Won't Stop Concealer. The Morphe is in the shade C2.65 and the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer from NYX is in the shade Vanilla. And um, I'm going to put the NYX on top just to brighten up. But we're not gonna put it out there, out there like the other one. And we do use the NYX for the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the lips, and the chin. And I'm also gonna actually do a little bit of contour. I'm gonna go into the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the shade Fawn. It's not as dark as the other one. I do feel the other one was kind of dark so it's pretty new it's pretty new it's brand new Ooh. should I get a brush yeah let me get a brush for that um, gonna go into this Morphe G38 and I'm just gonna get it it with that one this is kind of like my skin color which is gonna add a little bit of definition to the face only because when summer starts you want your makeup to last and the only way it's gonna last is if you it's if you um put liquids first and then set it with a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna go into my beauty blender. I mean, not beauty blender, real technique sponge. And blend the concealers and the contour. I first start off with the concealer. No, no, bring it all the way up because I don't want the brown part to attract or get stuck on the sponge and then have dark eye circles so first gonna do that and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna start blending in the contour
Now we're gonna set our face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Yay, she's back. I finally restocked her. It the only thing I don't like about this is the little full part. I try to take it out, but it, sometimes it's harder than usual. And I get frustrated because I can't take it out. So if they can just like have like a lift up lid part so we can just open it when it doesn't want to come out or really deep into it. I don't know how um, these YouTubers do it, but I need to show a sister how to do it because it's kind of hard. Let me get the old one first, finish it first. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. For that, I'm going to take my Morphe. I don't know. This is the M143 brush. This is my favorite one for bronzer. And I'm going to go into the Physician's Formula bronzer. Which is this one. And you just basically bronze wherever I put the contour. It's like if you're setting it. Okay. I'm kind of annoying when my camera stops. It stops filming at 12 minutes. So I have to keep track of that. So that's why you guys are going to see me looking down because I am using my computer, my laptop as a monitor. There we go. Much better. Okay. And then we're going to um, use the banana powder from the 9C palette from Morphe, which is this one. And I'm going to take this um, brush, my favorite brush to set the inner eye which is the more the Jeffree Star one and no it's not because I love Jeffree that's just a whole other point I just really like it it's a good brush you know a lot of people don't like him I love him and I love the products that he brings out with and I'm excited for the summer collection which I am gonna try to get so let me know if you guys want to see a review on so now we're gonna move on into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using these two palettes, which is the Dare to Create palette from Morphe Cosmetics. And this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's either this one, I saw she has a mustard color. I kinda wanna go for a mustard look. I kinda wanna use this one, but I know she has another one in her um, little like separate palettes which is this one brush so I don't know I'm in between those two but I for sure want to look like a mustard do like a mustard color so we're first going to go in to the Morphe Dare to Create number 3 39A 39A we're going to go into the Morphe 518 and by the way yes all my brushes are Morphe except for a few so I have a few max of little bit of an elf and like one pixie brush so and for that color I'm gonna do a very light transition color like something really similar to my skin tone which is gonna be this one and there's no shade name so I, it's just this one okay Dip into it tap the excess tilt your head back 
The only reason why I'm doing a natural one is because I don't want the brown to pop up, pop up a lot. I want the mustard to kind of just show. There we go. I focused you guys in. Yeah, a little centered. I'm trying to show you guys like my display in the back to have that as my background because I don't want you guys to just be staring at my bed all the time. You know? I never have someone to film with me because husband is always working. It's kind of hard to be focusing the camera and doing my makeup at the same time. So I'm going to go into this Morphe. Well, this is a PK524 and now I'm going to go into Crimsicle from the Jaclyn Head Palette palette and it's this one and I did put the colors like I taped over her message which was really nice but I put it here so I could like oh, okay I can read so I'm gonna pack it on oh, where am I right here. I'm gonna pack it on and this is creamsicle like really pack it really 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 pack it and tap the excess. I don't want to tap out a lot because I want to like pack it onto the eye. And this is on the lid you kind of want to pack it on so it can like you get the most color out of it but once you're getting closer to the crease, you kind of want to like blend it so it can blend with the other color. To the other eye. So you want to grab a little bit first. And just build up from there. That can help with fallout too because you guys can see I really have any fallout. There we go. So now we're gonna bring oh that eyeshadow on the bottom. But first, like always, I feel like you guys should know what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna go into Richie. Where's Richie? Just so I can make it pop a little bit more, we're gonna go into Richie on the water line and we're just gonna um smudge it on because we're gonna blend it in. So this is like a saw like a dark brown, it's gonna make the shadow pop even more because mustard um Mustard with brown. Makes everything pop. It's a dark brown, but still brown. And we're gonna take this Morphe 408 brush. It's a little flat brush. And we're gonna get creamsicle. And um, put it on the waterline. But not close it in like I close the, the eyeliner. go into the MAC and give me sun and just kind of bronze up my face even more because I want to look bronzed as fuck like you could be like oh that is your tan and I felt like um the physician formula is more like a cool tone bronzer 
And this one's more like an orangey bronzer, so. So that's why. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go into highlighter. For highlighter, I'm going to go into Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Chasing the Sun. I really like this highlighter. I mean, my favorite one so far is the Milani. But sometimes, you know, you want to switch it up a little bit. Alright, and I'm going to go into... I don't know what this one is. I think it was Gold Deposit from MAC. And... Give myself an even more golden look because you know what? It's summer and we deserve it. I've been waiting for this. It's a bronzer but it still has gold reflex so I like it. For blush, I'm going to go into another bronzy type just because... I want to give myself like the eyes to be the center of attention and I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild um, Shimmer Palette, it's, what is it called? Oh, Sangria Castles. I think I've used this in other videos. Pretty sure I have. I feel like I use very, like the same repetitive face powders and makeups but only because like if I'm using them constantly then you guys know I'm not lying like so said I'm gonna go into the max max mac fix plus I'm gonna set my face much better so now for lips I'm going to go into this one, which is Hunty from Jeffree Star. But I am going to go into Spiffy Liner from Morphe and line my lips. And I'm just going to put Hunty in the center. I'm gonna fill them in as well. I'll grab Hunty and um. Let's start blending my liquid lip with my liner. And then I'm going to take Brillo from the Dose of Color Eyes Love Sarahi, Sarahi, Sarahi collection. And... Put it on the center. I love this lip color. Alright guys, this is it. Uh, this is the completed look. How do you pose? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know how to pose. I'm hella awkward. Um, this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you guys like the, vi the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.